This is Chat the Great. If, if you even go to the laying the cables in the sea and then they use ships that use diesel to lay the cables in the sea and then it's the amount of electricity that's used, yeah. not only uploading but also downloading. But there's, again, scratch the surface and there's just so much that you don't know about. And, and there have been um, sort of studies done that show that certainly now, when you compare it back to when, when sort of vinyl and CD pressing that was was at its heyday, net that streaming now produces more carbon emissions than, than the manufacturing. Wow, that's craziness. Whoa. That's mad. Yeah, with uh, with streaming, um, a lot of the big companies are now using clean energy to kind of store all their servers. Different. There's, there's a really good book. I'm going to say it's probably knocking around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you know, decomposed. Oh, brilliant! Um, oh. And he goes through it. It's called the Political Ecology of Music, and he's got some really interesting sort of stats in there. It can, can be quite dry, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it but it does kind of go go through sort of you know what what's happening now compared with what was happening sort of back back in the past and obviously a, a lot of lot less um vinyl and cds are manufactured than they used to so the amount of emissions now are, are way less than they used to be but obviously yeah. there wasn't streaming back then so that's so, now yeah. loads that more it. so it's yeah yeah so it's, it's it's really it's really interesting and what, what we you know what we try to do is we, we kind of do presentations to, to people about this just to get the discussion going and to get people thinking about it but as i say you know a, a lot of the time there is no total conclusion it's just to make the make everything as good as it can be to try to not to greenwash anything yeah. i mean there, there, there's some people that i'm i mean i know there's, there's someone out there that goes some um, you know, we use the greenest um, substrate for making your vinyl records. It's like, yeah, you do. And so does every other factory in Europe. So, but granted, some of the factories in America aren't using that substrate and the, the stuff that they use isn't. Um, Wait, as good what as do you think European. that? What do you think like in America, like they, they're always still like a little bit later than Europe, this kind of like changes and measures. What do you think that? I guess it's probably political. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, sort of Germany and um, Holland have always been at the forefront of, of sort of making everything more, more ecologically right, more sustainable. Yeah. For, for years and, and maybe because we're part of Europe or were part of Europe. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> don't get me started. I don't, I <laughs> um that that the rest of Europe kind of had to fall into place with that and America never did and they're a law to their own. Mm. Um and I know certainly sort of one a sustainability committee that, that I've been sitting on and we've been talking about how to change um the cd boxes and the dvd boxes um to make them more sustainable and someone has come up with a much more sustainable product about it um and they were saying how how they've taken it to america and at first kind of all the american companies like the american labels big labels were just like oh you know we don't care about this yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. if it ain't broke don't fix it sort of thing it's like yes but it is broke yes we need to do <laughs> yeah. this 